um, the other were backing away from the house. It engulfed the whole house within minutes. And what did you hear? Just yelling, screaming, fire, my child. There's multiple people that are unaccounted for right now. People came running out the back door, and uh, you could see the fire going. They were trying to fight it. They failed miserably, and it got a heck of a lot bigger really fast. Within 30 seconds, the entire kitchen back there was engulfed. They were trying to get people out. Well, and get back inside, bud. We're just standing in the doorway. It's a devastating house fire that ripped through a multi-unit home in Oshawa. Neighbors tell us mother Lindsay Bonchek and her two kids, Madeline and Jackson, didn't make it out alive. They identified the fourth victim as Stephen McDonald, who they say ran back inside to save people. One of the ladies was actually screaming, my baby, my baby, and that's when he went back inside. Um, unfortunately, I was, because of where my, my house is, I saw everything that happened, and Stephen was a hero. It's just been really tough. Been tough, right? Eh? Yeah. You know, I understand Steve actually went inside and tried to save someone. Is that is that something that Steve would do? Oh yeah, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. It definitely doesn't surprise me at all. The fire erupted just after eight at Adelaide Avenue West and Highway Two in Oshawa, ripping through this multi-unit home. I heard an explosion, like a bang. I thought it was a transformer going off, and then, yeah, that back door over there came flying open, and they came running out. It, it was so big flame. The, the, the smoke covered all this building. You couldn't see the building. And if you look here, the flame, see? Yeah. I never see such, such fire like that. I can tell you the firefighters made several attempts, heroic attempts, to get in and to get to the upper levels. They were pushed back. Um, they fought their way up uh, through intense heat and smoke conditions. Uh, even fire was around them at all times when they were fighting their way up. Uh, they had to retreat. It's believed that at least 10 people were living in the home at the time. Three others were also sent to the hospital. You can tell by the blackened, blown out windows that this fire was big. It looked like an oh, inferno. It, it instantly took up that whole backside yeah. of the house. Neighbors heard a bang followed by a flash. People were coming out in their bare feet. There was one poor lady, all she had was her underwear and a t-shirt. Everyone came running out and flames everywhere. Fire crews arrived quickly, but both levels plus the loft were engulfed. Fire was around them at all times when they were fighting their way up. Uh, they had to retreat and after retreating, they forced their way back in again a second time. Of the 11 people who lived in the multi-unit home, a 50-year-old man named Stephen McDonald died, along with 36-year-old Lindsay Bonchek, her 9-year-old daughter Madeline, and 4-year-old son Jackson. It's believed that Lindsay's son Ben was out here waiting for his school bus, like he does every morning, when the flames erupted at his home. When the school bus arrived, firefighters quickly turned it into a makeshift shelter for everyone that they were evacuating. Now it appears that his mother, his brother, and his sister never made it out alive. Honestly, I, I, I look at it and I'm like, thank God I have three exits. The office of the fire marshal is investigating the cause and exactly where the fire originated and whether there were working smoke alarms in the building, but also whether this was a legal rooming house that was up to code. With that, Oshawa's fire chief has a reminder for everyone listening. No matter what dwelling you live in, if you have working smoke alarms, that's the key and a fire escape plan to get out of your house in time. This investigation is expected to last until the end of the week. Ali Chiasson, CBC News. still not clear what caused the fire or if the home was equipped with proper fire alarms. Investigators here are still trying to piece together what happened. In Oshawa, I'm Natish Bassano.